It's Sunday, May 3rd, and uh, heading back to my opening day spot. It's pretty early. It's like 4.20 a.m. There were four long beards out here last night, I guess, and I uh, had Stevie doing a little recon for me since he lives around the corner. It's been a slow start for turkey for us. I haven't heard a gobble in two days, so hopefully today's the day. So I'm going to do my little interview and shut this down and go see what we can make happen. Stay tuned. Man, I am shaking. I cannot believe that. He came in completely silent. I'm sitting in there screwing around with my phone. Trying to get a selfie of this stupid decoy. And, uh, as I'm taking the selfie, I'm like, what the heck did I do? Move the camera? He's full strut in my blind spot. I can't believe it. Wow, I'm shaking. I can't believe that. Hammered him. Didn't get a chance to get the GoPro that I got sitting there on the, on the decoy going because I'm screwing around the stupid Instagram story. Oh, my heart's pounding. Unreal. He never flopped. Hopefully I didn't get the decoy. I think he was past it. 
Oh, not much video of him because, like I say, he was right there. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. I'm going to walk out and take a peek at him. Good beard from what I could tell. And he is right there. I'm going to go pick him up. Take a look. Do a little recovery maybe. Whew. He didn't have time to get worked up. Barely got my uh, holo sight on. Wow. That was awesome. Whew. That's why turkey hunting's addicting. He never made a sound. All of a sudden there he was. Quick hit record. He went right to that Jake. Not happy. There he is, right next to the old decoy. Decoy looks like she's still in good shape. Excellent. I'd like to get that GoPro going right there, but he was acting funky and didn't really dare give it any more time. Let's uh, see what we got going on here. Stand by. What we got here, fellas. That was awesome. He, uh, Came in completely silent. Like I said, I was screwing around with the with the GoPro and the my phone, trying to do a stupid Instagram post. And all of a sudden, he was there. He was right behind me, all strutted and going to the decoy. Look at that. That's one of the fellers that's been out here. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Let's see what we got going on. Wow. Hammered. That was awesome. Set this blind up the day before the season, April 3rd, 30th. Waiting for it to quit raining all day. And um, snuck out here. Hadn't heard much lately. Nice good fan on him. A little a little ratty, but not bad. And, uh, like I say, it was, um, rainy all day the 30th. But I got out here, set it up, sat here opening day till noon, never heard a thing. And, uh, they've been in this field pretty regular. I don't know what the holdup's been this year, but, or so far, but they were in here this morning. I could hear them over and over. You probably heard now 50 or 100 gobbles in there. At least three beer, three gobblers going. This Avion X decoy did its trick. He was not happy with this little Jake guy. He was going right to him. Came out from behind me. Came out from over here. Like I said, I had my phone up doing selfies. And all of a sudden I'm like, there's turkey in there. I'm like, I that must thought I bumped the camera. But he was full strutting, coming right to it. So away I went. Puts a smack down on him. As you'll see in the video, he, he didn't like that. Hammered him. Probably, I don't know, 15 yards. I wanted to bring the crossbow in, but I just went with the shotgun for the first one and probably crossbow on some later. Want to go through the Excalibur. Heck with that. Thought I just heard one. If I hear one, I'll call Steve. We'll get in there together. I got another chair in my truck. He can grab one in his house. He's right behind his house. He might do it anyways. They've been in this field all day, usually. And I'm set up. Yeah. Tucked in there nice and dark. But I have to get some pictures in a little bit, but I'm going to get him out of the field. And, uh, go from there. See what happens. It was awesome. Still almost like in disbelief because like I say he came out of the blue and I had no idea. So I've been seeing all these posts about these turkey slings and being a redneck like I am I said geez those look pretty slick. What do I got that I can make one out of? So 
got my old dyno strap because it was a harness. They're inside here. I'm like, what the heck? Let's see if this will work. So I have no idea. Um, homemade tight slip knots on both ends of the strap that would go to the binos. And uh, it was the first time I've ever tried it because first time I killed a turkey since I made it. So let's give it a shot. Put this in around the old busted snood. Hashtag snood busters. Put this end around his feet. Get it up above the spurs is my guess for the best spot. I think it's gonna work. We'll find out. Should be nice because it's padded. Oh, I got a lot of stuff on. Oh, test a new hip. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, just like that. Give that a whirl. So I got the turkey sling on. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty secure on there. My thought process is with camera, backpack, decoys, gun, turkey, tripod. It's a lot of stuff to get in and out of the stand. And uh, I'm by myself. Steve's coming, but he ain't here yet. So a little redneck ingenuity, and I think it's going to work. So I'll keep you posted. If it falls off, hopefully I catch it on film. You can see it. We can all laugh at me. I'm good at that. Turkey Sling 101, worked like a charm.